Good morning and welcome to a full day of eating today. I know that this is one of your favorite videos to watch for delicious meal ideas, especially when they are lean girl meal ideas. So I'm gonna be taking you girls along in my day and showing you everything that I eat. It is currently quarter to 10. Um, and I have basically only had two cups of coffee today. So I woke up and I always have a coffee before gym. And then I actually headed with my sister to Naked Coffee and we grabbed a quick almond cappuccino. Um, so that's all I've had. So we're gonna get into the meals. But before we do, guys, I feel like I lied that I didn't eat something. I just ate like a dried fig. See, the honesty always comes out. I feel like Oh, there it is. You know those little seeds in the fig? There was one in my cheek. Um, I wanted to just give a little intro to this video where I'm currently at in terms of my calories, in terms of my macros and kind of my goals at the moment because I think that's important in terms of why it is that you will see the meals that you see today. Um, and so as you may know from a couple of my previous videos, well, a couple of videos back, I was attempting a bulk um, where I was trying to increase my calories, really trying to focus on building muscles. So after my wedding, I, before my wedding, I did a cut and then I was like, I really want to move into a more intense muscle building phase where I am in a calorie surplus, which is something I had never done before. And let me tell you, it was extremely difficult. Like if you think dieting is hard, let me tell you that for a female to be in a surplus, and to be actively gaining weight is freaking difficult, okay? So I did that for about four months. So I did give it a good amount of time, I feel like. And my conclusion on that, which by the way, I will do a full video on as to what the process was like, what I experienced, my various thoughts on it, because I wanna keep this video pretty clean in terms of just showing you my meals, because I know that that's what you're here for. But I actually decided the very, very much the same as I don't like to do extreme diets. So I don't like to do extreme calorie cuts, very low calories that are unsustainable and make losing fat unenjoyable. I also felt like really pushing myself to be in a surplus and trying to gain muscle really quickly, very much the same as extreme diets, made me feel uncomfortable and made me feel like, yeah, not happy on a day-to-day -day basis. And I think that there's definitely um, room for, you know, really trying to optimize muscle growth. And I think that when you are in, for example, the bodybuilding space, it is important to have these bulking seasons where you really, you know, you're on a time limit, you need to get your body to a certain place, you really wanna push it as hard as you can and optimize your muscle growth in that time. But for me, I'm pretty happy with my body. I would love to build some more muscle because I know that that is the holy grail of looking lean and fit and toned and good. But as I said, I'm not unhappy with my body. And if that means that I sit at maintenance and it's a slower process, which I know it absolutely will be according to the science, I'm actually okay with that. And I think for the average woman, and again, this is my, my opinion on this, for the average woman, we don't want to spend a couple of months in the year feeling like our clothes don't fit, feeling like we're uncomfortable, feeling overly stuffed with our meals. Maybe that's for some people, and maybe I'm just mentally not strong enough for that, but I just spent a couple of months not feeling myself, not feeling my best. I didn't want to um, you know, wear certain clothes of mine, and I only gained about three kilos in the process, but three kilos on a, on a woman can feel quite different. And I'm sure that there's a huge mental side to it as well. Um, and again, I'm not gonna get into too much into this video. I will do a full video on my, on my surplus experience and my bulk experience for you girls, because I know it's something that you are interested in. And I'd also like to share some thoughts around it and sort of my approach going forward um, on how I'm still gonna be optimizing muscle growth, because that is what my goal is at the moment, um, but in a more sustainable, enjoyable, and moderate way, which is what the Lean Girl Life is all about, right? 
So for today's video, I am going to be eating between 1,700 and 1,800 calories. This is a small deficit for me. What I'm currently doing with my calories is I like to keep them a little bit lower than my maintenance during the week. So between 1.7 and 1.8. And then on the weekends when I am having more dinners out, I am having more alcohol. Well, I don't really drink much during the week at all. So, but I do love to have a few glasses of champagne, some wine on the weekend, some, you know, cake that is not legal, you know, certified. So having that bit of breathing room where I'm not hitting my maintenance every single day during the week gives me a few extra calories to bag for the weekends when I am in an environment where I do want to eat a little bit more or drink a little bit more. And that's working really well for me. Um, I am for the last couple of weeks sort of been doing this strategy with, I guess it's calorie cycling in a way. Um, but overall, if you balance out my calories for the whole week, I am sitting pretty much at maintenance calories. So around 2000, which is my personal maintenance. If you want to work out what your calories are um, for fat loss, maintenance or a surplus, um, then you can click down below. I will leave the link to my Lean Girl Calorie Calculator for you to check it out. And the reason why I'll try and stick to more around 1.7 today, um, I know that the most challenging thing is to have a low calorie diet, right? Um, so me showing you how to eat 3,000 calories isn't very helpful. I know that most of you probably sit between 1.5 and 1.6. So hopefully the meals that I share today will inspire you with some new delish meal ideas. And so we are gonna head straight into the kitchen now. Um, I already trained this morning. I did an upper body sesh. I am doing these epic 40 minute workouts. I'm calling it Lean Girl TNT workouts because it's like dynamite, comes in small packages. They're really hard, they're intense, weight training based. Um, and I am soon gonna be sharing these workouts um, for you girls as well. So I'm really excited about that. So it's almost going on 10 now, so I'm pretty hungry. I'm gonna have my first meal, which is normally quite small. I normally have a protein, sort of protein-based meal after gym um, and something small because my appetite's not huge in the morning. And then my first big meal is gonna be around 12.30. So kind of like intermittent fasting, but still with a small protein meal. So let us go and make some breakies. Okay girls, so I am going to make my very famous Lean Girl super low calorie, very high protein pancakes, okay? Which they pretty much, if we if we real, they are pretty much egg whites, which have been flavored, but they are delicious. And if I use my Skinny Foods low cal jam with them and a bit of syrup, it's a nice alternative to a shake. So if I'm honest, I have been having my Metalab protein shake pretty much every day. Um, but sometimes I feel like just eating something, you know? Um, so I do like to keep my calories pretty low in the morning because my appetite is not, I'm not super hungry in the morning. So I'd rather eat my calories later on in the day, which you'll see. Um, so let me show you how to make these pancakes. Unfortunately, I don't have my liquid egg whites because I normally buy the bottled egg whites from Woolworths, which is much better and less wasteful. Um, but I only have whole eggs, so we can have a bit of wastage, unfortunately, um, but it'll be worth it. So let me show you how it's done. So I'm doing it in my Nutri-Food container and I've got my eggs. Now that Gillian's also eating 100 eggs a day. Okay, so we're doing six to seven egg whites. I think I'll do seven. I try and get seven pancakes out of this recipe. I know some of you are like, how is that possible? Because you only get three or four. Um, but the key is making them super thin. Um, and having the right pan and also the wrist action, which I've been practicing for a very long time. There is something nice actually about normal egg whites, like when you get them in the bottle, I don't know why, but they just don't seem to go as fluffy. But we, I do blend this in a Nutribullet, so. 
Okay, that is seven. And then it's pretty quick. I do three sweeteners. I do a little drop of vanilla. Then I actually have been enjoying, enjoying these little flavors from Skinny Foods, which are now finished. So I'm just gonna add, they do have some sweetness as well. So just be cautious because it can make it extra sweet. And then a good old dash of cinnamon, just a little quarter teaspoon of baking powder. And then this adds, I don't know, some body. So I'm adding some cottage cheese. You could also do yogurt. Then you just want to put on the lid and give this a good blitz. And then we are going to go over to the stove and I'm going to make the pancakes. Then you want to grab your big non-stick pan and give it a good spray of non-stick spray. I use this olive oil cook and bake and then you are going to pour your mixture in. Now very important to give it a good swirl as you're pouring the mix in. If there are any tiny holes you can actually just use a spoon to cover them up um, and then you will flip them over onto the other side and I do tend to spray each and every time just to make sure that they don't stick. So if your pancakes are sticking um, give that a try and then inside my lovely little pancakes i am adding the raspberry skinny foods jam this is one of my favorite local jams um it's really delicious um and yeah i get think it's like 10 calories for 30 grams which is quite a lot so um i normally get around six sometimes seven depending on how great my pouring is of these pancakes um and so yeah i just fill each one and then roll them up Okay, so there we go. I managed to make six pancakes, which you can see is quite a big stack. And then the syrup that I use is the Walden's Farm pancake syrup. My favorite is actually maple walnut, but they often don't have stock of that one. So pancake will do. That's basically zero calories. And then a little bit of cinnamon just to top it off. And then I normally sit and sometimes I'll watch something on my phone or I'll listen to a great podcast. I'm currently listening to the audiobook. Um, it's called Life Force by Tony Robbins and it's basically all about how to reverse age. So if you're into that, um, definitely check it out. Okay, my dolls. So I have just finished my little Lean Girl protein pancakes and they were delicious and filling and sometimes you just need something warm, not like a really cold protein shake, which I always have to drink literally with the heat on because otherwise it just freezes me up from the inside. Um, so I'm about to go and do some work and then I will see you guys back for lunch, which will be at around 12.30. So check it in a minute. Okay, girls, so it is lunchtime and I'm going to be making my new obsession, which is my lean girl pita pizzas. So we're gonna go over, I just needed some good lighting there. We're gonna go over to the kitchen. We also have Galan who's cooking, he's gonna help cook his lunch. Um, Galan is, what are you doing babe? A recomp. He's doing a body recomp and he's taking it very seriously. He's, how much protein are you trying to eat? He's trying to eat 210 grams of protein in a day, which is almost insane, basically. He has to eat like crazy amounts of food. Like, it's gonna eat me out of house and home, basically. So we are going to add many a chicken breast onto his pizza today. Um, so I love these pita pizzas because you can add pretty much any protein that you have. So sometimes I do a steak, sometimes I do like the smoked chicken that's already cooked. Sometimes I do chicken breasts, which is what I'm gonna be doing today. And then you can add whatever veggies you have available. You can add whatever your favorite pizza, pizza toppings are. And the awesome thing about the pitas is they're like a lot more sturdy than the wrap pizzas. Like the wrap pizzas, can fall apart a little bit um, if you don't make them crispy enough and they go a bit soggy. So this is why I love these. And they're nice to make for lunch because not too much prep work. So let me show you guys what you're gonna need. 
and how we're gonna make these babes. We are starting off with some mushrooms. My favorite are portobello mushrooms. I prefer them to the button mushrooms as I feel like they have more flavor. And so I've just got a nonstick pan and I'm throwing them in. You can see me there in the background. Um, I didn't actually put my other camera up. And then the chicken that I'm using, you have to try. This is the marinated tikka chicken from Woolworths. It is in the most gorgeous sauce and it just gives chicken breast so much flavor. So I'm popping these on the griddle pan and then I'm prepping all of my other items for the pizza. So I'm also doing some just regular slicing tomatoes, which are a must on this pizza. It actually adds some nice moisture um, as well. So I always add the tomatoes on. So Gilan has decided for the first time in his life to count calories. And now he's realized, firstly, that it's not as easy when you just get started. And secondly, like you can't just koi ever and cheese and a million things on your food and think you're cool. Because you thought that you were eating like one eight and now he's struggling to be on one two. One two? I mean two two. What are you on? Two two. Two one eight two. Oh. Very specific. It's actually two one eight one. Oh! That <laughs> one calorie. So um, he has now been open to the world of calorie counting and that now means that if he needs to hit his protein goal he's gonna have a cheeseless pizza <laughs> <laughs> no i'm sure i can put a little spot of cheese on two smidgens of cheese will be all now we have my handy kitchen assistant who is butchering my pita breads. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. So the key is to actually warm them up slightly, which I was trying to convince him to do. So I normally pop mine into the microwave first so that they're nice and soft. And then you just wanna cut it all along the edge until you have two beautiful pizza rounds. And now it is really as simple as putting it all together. I'm using the basil and pesto pasta sauce from Woolworths, which makes the base. Then I popped on my tomatoes, give them a season, and then adding on my mushrooms on top. So this is the pizza. I'm just waiting for the chicken to be done cooking. And then we're gonna put our chicken and our cheese. And Galan, you're not getting any cheese. I'm getting cheese. I'm gonna what are you going to have for dinner? Sal Nothing. I'm sacrificing my dinner for cheese. Salad. <laughs> sacrificing my dinner for cheese. These chicken breasts are so good. So our chicken breasts are pretty much done and I am just using one chicken breast for this and you want to slice it into thin slices that are easy to bite off and then you are just going to pop these on top of your pizza. Then you can go ahead and sprinkle on your cheese. I really only need a bit of cheese for these pizzas. I always use the mature cheddar because it's got a super strong flavor. Okay, so our pizzas are ready. Let me show you. We've got Mr. Gork's very high protein pizza. How do you feel about it? Excited. This is mine. Our cheese portions are sad, but I'm excited. Don't wait for me. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Okay, my dolls, we are back. It is now 4.30 in the afternoon. I have had a busy day working. I have a team meeting tomorrow. If you will believe this, there are three Lean Girl team members which help me to put out all of the amazing content that we do to help support all of the girls on their lean body journeys, answer the questions as quickly as possible. Um, and yeah, all the behind the scenes stuff that happens in the Lean Girl brand, which is pretty awesome. So we have our quarterly strategy meeting tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. So one of our beautiful ladies is from Cape Town. So she's coming up and then two of the other girls. So we have Jenna, we have Gemma, and then we have Jamie. I used to have two Jennas and a Gemma, um, but other Jenna now just helps with some photography and stuff like that. Um, and 
But now I still have Jenna, Gemma, and Jamie. Seems like a trend. All the, all the J's and the G's. Um, so I've been working on that and I actually went to get my nails done as well. I feel like I need to get a good shot of these because she did good. I love a bit of leopard print. I won't lie. Like, I feel like it still looks quite classic though. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Yay or nay on the leopard print nails. I like them. I like them. I'm a hand model. Oh. Now when people ask me if I was a hand model. I'm like, I feel like that's an insult and a compliment at the same time. Like, the rest of me, you know, is just not cool. But the hands, stunning. Anyway, uh, let's get to the food. So I'm actually trying out a new recipe today. I like in my What I Eat In A Day videos to give you a little something new. So I'm gonna try and make a carrot cake pancake, which means that we had two different kinds of pancakes today. What is wrong with that? Absolutely nothing. So I have an idea on how I'm gonna do it. So let's see how they turn out. This is gonna be my afternoon snack. I love to have something sweet in the afternoon. So I sometimes will do like my protein oats or I have done a yogurt bowl or a brownie or protein bar or I like something sweet and filling in the afternoon to tie me over till dinner. So let's get making the carrot cake pancakes and then I'll see you when I eat them. When I eat those things. Okay, let's get started. I'm starting off with some oats. Then we are going in with some Metalab protein powder. This is my favorite. It is the caramel bridge. Then we want to sweeten these up. So I'm adding two sachets of sweetener, a dash of cinnamon, which works beautifully with anything carrot. Then a little bit of baking powder. So just half a teaspoon of that to get some rise in our lovely little pancakes. And then to any baking items, I always add a pinch of salt, which actually just helps to balance out the sweetness of the flavor. And then I'm also adding a dash of ginger here, just for that special little carrot cake warmth. And then a dash of vanilla essence that was really the last of it and then i am adding some egg whites as well which is going to help bump up the protein even more and then bring all of our little pancakes together then i am adding a half of a banana which helps the texture as stay really moist especially when it comes to cooking protein items they often tend to go quite dry then you are going to just blitz all of this up in your nutribullet I love this, that it's just one container that you can throw everything into. Um, and you just wanna blitz this until everything is pretty smooth. Then we are going to add the star of the show, which is the carrot. And so you want to add the carrot after you've blended everything up. So I have one finely medium grated carrot here because we don't want just orange pancakes. You actually wanna have the texture of the carrot in the pancakes too. Then you're gonna head over to your stove and grab a non-stick pan, uh, very important to have a good non-stick pan, and then spray it with non-stick spray. Then you're gonna go ahead and spoon your carrot mixture. You could make big or small pancakes, whichever you prefer. And I do tend to spray the pan before I do each set of pancakes, just to make sure that they come away beautifully. Now that we have our beautiful stack of pancakes ready to go, we now need to make these just like carrot cake. So we are using cottage cheese here. This is the smooth Lancewood low-fat cottage cheese. You could also use fat-free if you like. And then I'm adding some cinnamon and some sugar-free syrup. If you don't have the sugar-free syrup, you can go ahead and add some sweetener um, instead, which will work just fine. This just has a bit more of like a maple flavor, which makes it really good. You could probably also do a bit of lemon juice in here which would add an even nicer tang you know that carrot cake tang and then you are going to just sandwich your pancakes with the mixture so that each and every pancake is going to have its own lovely coating of this cheesecakey mix 
we are going to be using these caramel drops, which you would have seen in my Wheat Bix chocolate caramel slice as well. I'm officially obsessed with these. I grab a handful every time I walk past the cupboard. And so I'm adding some of these to a cup and then a tiny bit of coconut oil, which helps the chocolate melt and not go lumpy. And then you can just pop this into the microwave for a few seconds until the chocolate starts to melt. And then once you take it out and you can easily melt it into a gorgeous caramel liquid, you can then pour these over your beautiful carrot cake, lean girl carrot cake caramel pancakes. Enjoy! Do you want to taste my carrot cake pancakes? You want to try? Yeah. Okay, what have we got here? Just a small, small bit. Just a small bit? No, it's fine. But I can't eat this whole thing. <laughs> can I eat this? <laughs> Cheeky. Do you want me to have a smaller bit? No, no, you can take it. It's going to pay for it later. You have to get a bit of the caramel sauce as well. Mm. No, I can taste that. How good? It's really good. Carrot cake. Lean girl. Carrot cake. Caramel. This is, no, this pancakes. Is, it looks like a cake though. How nice. Well, they're pancakes that are stacked. It looks like a layered cake. Nice. Well, like a carrot cake. Exactly. Mm. Look at that caramel. That looks unbelievable. Look at that. Oh, man. Eat your heart out, boy. What do you think? I'll eat the rest of that later. What? Never. You're gonna pay your dues, woman. Okay, dolls. So it is dinner time, kind of. It is quarter to seven. I normally start cooking at like seven-ish for dinner. Um, but because I'm filming, it takes a little bit longer. So I thought I would get started. So tonight I am gonna show you how to make my dad's famous burgers, okay? I normally have the pre-made burgers from Woody's, like the ostrich ones are my favorite. But I visited my parents in December and my dad made these burgers and they are so simple. And let me tell you, I think they taste better than like a pre-prepared burger. So we are gonna be using some extra lean mints Honestly, they're so easy and they taste so meaty and so good. Like I can't even imagine. Babe. Yeah. What burger, what burger do the the my dad's burgers taste like? You have more burgers than me. Like it's so meaty. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Babe. Throw me your freaking bone here! I can't think what it tastes like. It's so unique. <laughs> it tastes like dad's burgers. <laughs> he was not helpful. Um, he came, he ate the food, he was not useful. Um, okay, so it tastes very meaty. So when you think of a meaty burger, that's what it tastes like. And you basically use ground. I was gonna say ground beef. We're not American. Ground just mince, extra lean, salt, pepper. That's pretty much it. Trust me on this one. It's simple, but it's good. And I'm gonna do that with a sandwich thin, obviously, and some zucchini fries, some zucchini baby marrow vibes. So let me show you how it's done. All right, let's get started on our baby marrow or zucchini fries. You are going to grab a couple, I did five here, and you are going to cut off the ends and then cut each one into four. So you have four chips coming from each zucchini. And then what I tend to do is pop them into the microwave for four or five minutes, just to get them a little tender before I season them and then put them into the air fryer. Then let's start with our burger. I'm using extra lean mince as I always do. You'll even find that the extra lean has quite a bit of fat in it. And you are going to scoop up however much you are using for your burger. And that's why I love these because you can actually make them the size that you want. You're not limited to the size of a burger. So if you have more calories or you need to get more protein in, you can make a big old um, burger patty and you can make it as big as you like. So now you weigh out your mince and then you are going to make it into a 
ball. So you can pack it with your hands and you'll actually be amazed that you don't need any binding agent or any flour or egg or anything to keep it together. If you just kind of squash it together with your hands, you'll have the perfect ball. Then I am just going to head back over to my zucchini. I'm seasoning them up here with my funky Oma spice and some chili flakes. And then I pop these into the air fryer on 200 degrees for about 10 minutes. Now we are going to cook our burger patty. I have got a non-stick pan here with my olive oil spray and cook. And then I just put my burger ball onto the pan and actually squash it down using my um, spatula here. And you do want to season it at this point. Make sure to season it with salt and pepper. And then you are gonna cook it on each side for two and a half minutes. And this is going to give you the best perfectly cooked burger that is medium rare. Then we are gonna start preparing our other burger items. So I'm using sandwich thins as the bread. You could use a hamburger roll or whatever you like. So I spread on some low fat um, cottage cheese. This is a smooth one from Lancewood. And then I always like a fresh element on my burger as well. So I'm using just some butter lettuce here. And here you'll see me seasoning the other side of our burger. And then I didn't have any more slicing tomatoes. So I'm using cherries here, but they do tend to fall off the burger. So if you have slicing tomatoes, you should probably use those. You can go ahead and add any of your own favorite burger toppings. I love pickles or gherkins. Um, so I'm also adding a couple of those. The gherkins always remind me of a Steers burger. I don't know if you remember like the good old Steers burger. It always had gherkins. Now I've cooked my burger patty on each side for just two and a half minutes, which gives you that perfect medium rare burger. And you can see it's a really nice, big, juicy patty. Um, and I'm so excited for you guys to try this. And my zucchini fries are perfectly cooked. They still um, have a bit of firmness to them. They are nice and crispy. They have those delicious chili flakes on. And there we go. There's dinner. My delicious meaty burger with my zucchini fries what is g having two protein. burgers two protein burgers and there you have it Okay, girls, so that brings us officially to the end of this What I Eat in a Day video on 1,700 calories. I hope that you had fun watching. I always have fun making them for you. Thanks for following along, having along for the day. Um, and I hope that this inspired you to try some new uh, lingo meals that I made today. I know some of the recipes aren't new, but it, hopefully they inspired you to give them another go or to give them a go for, for the first time. Um, and if you enjoyed these recipes, by the way, you have to follow me on Instagram because I post recipes and new ones every single week so you don't want to miss out on those and I hope that this showed you in a practical sense how you can stretch even a lower calorie diet into big delicious satisfying meals that certainly do not take any willpower or discipline to enjoy and that is what I'm all about and that is what I am on a mission to preach and teach and share um, how you can do that and how we are changing the game when it comes to dieting and getting lean um, that you can enjoy every single day enjoy your meals enjoy the process and never go hungry when it comes to living your best legal life so i hope that you enjoy this comment down below how many calories you are currently on and i will try and do a full day of eating if you would enjoy that on that calorie level i can do some calorie magic in terms of making low calorie meals a big and tasty so um challenge me down below you know i'm not going to go too low so don't say anything crazy otherwise i hope that you enjoyed the video and don't forget to show some love on the channel subscribe like comment share it do all of those good things and i will see you back here next week same time same place on the lean girl youtube channel Mwah. Because things are really heating up. Oh.